Okay, we have here today an interesting integral from the UNSW Integration B 2023. This was round two, problem two. We have the integral of dx over x plus x to the e. Okay, I was liking the look of this problem just because they gave us an e in the exponent here, which is just a little bit different. And what I want to notice, when I look at something like this, I'm thinking I want to do a u substitution, but the only trouble we have, you know, there's nothing here in the, we have nothing in the numerator. It'd be nice to have something there in the numerator and then also the fact that we have two x terms, I like to kind of reduce that to one. So what I want to do is factor something out. It turns out I think this is going to work better if I factor out the x to the e rather than factoring out the x. So let's see what happens when I do that. For this first term, our x is going to turn to x, 1 minus e. Just noticing if you multiply this times this, you get back to just x. And then our second term here is going to be just a plus 1. And then in order to have something in the numerator for our u substitution, I'm just going to bring this x to the e into the numerator, but we'll write it as x to the minus e here. And then I'm just going to copy this business down. And then now using this, I'm going to try to do a u substitution. So I'll make that whole denominator my u. So we'll say u is going to be equal to x to the 1 minus e plus 1. I'll take a derivative. And then this is just going to be power rule. Notice that 1 minus e, this is just going to be a number. So I'm going to use power rule, bring this up front just parentheses to make it clear and then this and then we'll subtract one from this so we're going to have just x to the minus e derivative one is zero dx and then you'll notice our numerator is actually really close to what we have here and so i'm going to do is i'm just going to make this match by multiplying in here carefully times one minus e but then i'll also divide by one minus e out front again one minus e is just a constant value and now we have our du value up here exactly, so I'm going to substitute. What we're going to end up with is a very simple integral. We're just going to have du, and this is going to be u. So we'll just go ahead and integrate. So what's going to happen here, this is actually just going to be natural log absolute value of u. But I think what I'm going to do is let's just back substitute all in one step here. So this is going to become x to the 1 minus e plus 1. Keep our absolute value around it, plus c. And that's going to be our solution, so I'll just circle it and move on. Okay, so I know it was a pretty easy one. It went pretty quick, so we'll stop it there. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a great day.